am Tracy Grimshaw and welcome to this very special edition of A Current Affair. We're coming to you live tonight from the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Melbourne. And we are here, of course, to speak with the woman of the hour, the women of the hour, the all-conquering Ellen DeGeneres and her wife, Portia, who are here in Australia. At, that's the world's worst kept secret, I think. <laughs> And you've had an amazing response. Hello, welcome. Hi. Nice Thank you, Tracy. You. Good to see you again. It's good to see you. This is something we, I don't think we could have been uh, prepared for what this was. I mean, it's been overwhelming. I mean, the reception is incredible and Australia has been unbelievable. 5,000 people turned out to see you in Melbourne today. 3,000 in Sydney the other day. 10,000 today. 10,000 today. 10,000. Really? I was told five. No, we found out it was 10, and uh, it was, and unfortunately, because I was watching from my hotel room starting, a lot of people flew in from all over different parts of Australia. People were here at 4 a.m. waiting in line, and unfortunately, I think we were just permitted for like, 3,500, they expanded it to five, and then another five went in the kind of overflow. And I felt so bad because not everybody could get in, they, and they had been waiting for hours. But it was uh, the energy, the people here are incredible. You're, you're incredible people, all of you. <laughs> Everyone watching, I, if, even if I didn't meet you, you're incredible. What about, Portia, had you expected this? Had you expected this sort of response? This is Never. your country. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I thought that they would be excited to, to see Ellen. Um, but, I mean, the response has been so overwhelming. I mean, they're so embracing, so friendly, so lovely. And I, I really couldn't be happier because I've been waiting eight years to show her Australia. And this is kind of the, the, the best way to see the country. Well, I bet you're asking yourself why it's taken you so long to get here when it's I'm so much fun. Her. You been, no. <laughs> have you been saying that? Have you been nagging her? Of course, of course I have. We've been, we just tried to figure out the right timing because, you know, I'm usually off in the summer and it's winter here and we were trying to get here for beautiful weather and we we've, we got here for beautiful weather. Yeah, it's been amazing. So did. Um, and it was just, and now I want to come back. This was, you know, obviously we were supposed to be here a lot longer and I got sick and we had to postpone it so we were here a shorter amount of time. We didn't get to go to Geelong, which I we were know. trying to... I would love to have taken her to Geelong to see my hometown and... So many other parts of Australia. We were Australia. supposed to go to the Great Barrier Reef, and I had to lose that because we have to get back into a show. So it was, it's too, we'll come back. Did you get to hear Kookaburras? Um, yes, when we were doing Sydney, one showed up, like literally on, a, on the top of scaffolding, right when we were <laughs> going to end the show. There was, and I recognized the voice, and I looked up, and it was a kookaburra sitting on the uh, scaffolding. Kookaburra. A kookaburra. I'm going to have to work on that. What did I say? Yeah, I know, it's okay. She says it's Melbourne, fine. fine. She's Melbourne, Melbourne. Good, you right? coached her well yeah, on that, right? Let's do that. Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. What has it meant to you to bring Ellen here? Well, I mean, it's it just kind of completes a bit of a story for me because we've been together for so long now, married for over four years, and she's never seen my home. And she doesn't, you know, before now, she just didn't know where I was from and and how amazing this country is and how cool the people are. So it means a lot. What have you learned about Australia, do you think? Um, well, first of all, the people are, uh, you know, everything I've, I've heard, like, you know, the snakes are more poisonous, everything's bigger, <laughs> everything's, you know, and That's I true. think that that really is, it's the same with people. I mean, there there's an enthusiasm that I, I don't think I've ever seen. There's a passion, there's a, um, I mean, really, the people have been beyond Are they attractive, too? And they're think. very attractive. <laughs> she, she already knew that, though. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> They really are. No, everybody here is, I mean, you know, I think that's what I've learned. I knew it was a beautiful country. I'd obviously seen, but, you know, there's just something about the trees here are incredible. You know, every, everything. It's just a beautiful city, the architecture. But it's really the people that I've, I've been, I'm, I'm going to leave here with, the, there's just a warmth and a, a kindness that I experienced that I'll never forget. They're going to want you to come back. Now, I believe, Portia, there's a little rumor that you dressed up as a, in a school uniform yesterday uh, to go true, back to It's true, Tracy. <laughs> Please tell I'm 40 it, years old, and she made me put my school uniform on from Melbourne Girls Grammar. Oh, boy. Um, was it your original school uniform? You know, it wasn't. But I do oh. actually have it. My oh, mom yeah. kept it. She, she does not fit in her... I think she was, like, 13 when she was there, so... No, well, 15. Maybe... I, would, I don't know. Probably not. But uh, it was so fun to be back at school, and 
Of course, none of the teachers are still there, but the school itself is there, and the girls were amazing. They yeah. were so lovely. That was supposed really to be fun. a secret, but that leaked out like right before we got there, I think. I think one of the girls, like, oh, that you were going there. Yeah. yeah. And I think one of the girls actually blabbed that Portia was wearing a school uniform. Yeah. <laughs> now, there was one thing that you told me when we were speaking in LA, which was that you were, Portia wanted to take you to a pub, mm -hmm. her favorite pub. Uh huh. Is, has that not happened? Did you sneak that in? Well, you know, my favorite pub is actually uh, in Brunswick Street. It's called the Provincial uh, in Melbourne. But uh, my favorite pub was never in Geelong because I left Geelong when I was 15. So, yep. of course, that would be highly illegal for me to be in a pub. <laughs> Team. So yes, but uh, I would have loved to have shown her my the places I lived in and you know my favorite stores and my favorite restaurants, but we just haven't had the time. We went to some great restaurants both in Sydney yeah. and uh, and the you know, the food here has been incredible. We have got world class restaurants. You will have yes. to come back. And excellent coffee here. I uh -huh. like strong coffee, and the, I I was not. I was not disappointed by the coffee. I'm not surprised to hear that. I'm going to have to let you go because there's a room full of people clamoring for your company. What are you going to do the rest of the time? It's live. I've got, I, well, I've got a little, few other little things to do here. Oh, we have right. someone backstage at your show today, so we'll be talking about that oh, right good. now, as a matter cool. of fact. Bye. We'll, we'll see you later. I'll let you enjoy All the party. Right. I'll see have you a little fun. bit later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Nice to see you. You too, Tracy. Ellen DeGeneres and Porsche.